London Truth was very much born out of PlayStation VR Worlds. You know, the London Heist was by far the, the most popular experience. And Blood and Truth is very much a spiritual successor to that. It's still set in London. I'm very much inspired by our favorite action movies, you know, John Wick, James Bond. And the whole thing is just really trying to make you feel like an action hero. There was FMV in the 90s. There's video clips and you click a button and it loads the next video and it's fine, people like that. But I wondered if you could use live action to create the same experiences that you get from studios that tell stories with traditional computer game graphics like Supermassive games and, and Quantic Dream in a way where it didn't compromise the elements. And if anything, you had more fidelity. It's like every 15 seconds you're, you know, you're making a dialogue choice, you're choosing where to go, or you're, you're you know, opening a, like an interesting box and looking inside and playing with the trinkets. So it feels really physical. I don't know anyone who's really tried to do like first person shooter narrative VR stuff. Like this yeah, before, yeah. That's got to it's be definitely it's definitely challenging. I think doing the medium of VR changes the kind of the design rule book. You know, because you don't know necessarily where the player's head is going to be. You know, we've had to put kind of put a lot of systems in place to really kind of optimize the experience. You don't want to be jarred. You don't want to be broken out of the experience. It's very different to film because you've got to basically take into account all these other considerations. Does it work from a game design point of view? Does it work from an animation tech point of view? And definitely it's been a, a challenge to get there because you're using playlink, so you've got the whole touch thing as well, which I imagine really works well from the innovation side. Well, when we started, we were using a DualShock and we thought, well, wouldn't it wouldn't be interesting if you could use your phone, some most personal device you have, and it's a super expressive and tactile interface. Then playlink emerged about a year later as a wider thing. One of the things I love about coming to show Blood and Truth at shows like this is, you know, if you see a trailer on YouTube or whatever, it just doesn't get across the experience you get when you're in VR. And just letting someone play the game and just seeing their, their, their reaction as they're pulling off, you know, all sorts of kind of cool, cool stuff is just great.